Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to start another interesting series. In this series I will discuss text user interface in Fluent. You might know about it but we will start from very basic to the advanced level of text user interface. Before jumping into text user interface just I want to show you a quick example to show you what it can be done. Suppose uh, we have this simulation and the fluid is entering from here and there is some convection happening on this wall. I want to run this same simulation but with different settings. For example here at the inlet I have 4 gram per second and temperature is 313 Kelvin and the total number of iteration is 20. So I want to run it uh, let's say with uh, 5 gram per second and a temperature of uh, 300 Kelvin and I want to run total total 50 iteration. I can do all these changes over here and I can run this simulation. And the other way is by using text user interface. So I have written those commands and I will quickly run those simulations. So let me copy paste over here. Here are those commands which will carry out all these changes. So once I I have copy paste all these commands over here. I will hit enter and it will make all those changes and it will run this simulation. So you can see now we will go back and check. So see the temperature is 300 Kelvin and the flow rate is 5 gram per second and the total number of iteration is 50. So instead of going one by one I have just copy paste all these uh, a command over here and with a single click it has made all those changes initialize and then run the simulation it means text user interface can save a lot of time if you can use it in your simulation so in this uh, series i am going to cover these topics so we will see what is text user interface how to navigate between different commands and a little introduction about text user interface then we will see how you can change boundary condition using text user interface. Then we will write uh, journal file. Journal file is the file that you can read directly into Fluent to run this simulation. So I will tell you what is journal file. Then we will see how we can use uh, text user interface to define material properties and to assign those materials to uh, respective cell zone. To define one material is not a problem but uh, for example if you are running a simulation of uh, uh, battery cells let's say lithium ion battery and you have a module of uh, 20 battery cells or maybe 50 battery cells. I have run simulation where I had almost uh, 90 battery cells. So you had to define a separate material for each battery cell. So imagine you are defining manually 90 materials there you cannot do all this manual work you need to have this text user interface and then each material need to be defined to each battery cell so it will take a lot of time maybe hours to do all this work but with this text user interface you can achieve this within a minute or within a couple of minutes then we will see how you can write a report definition using TUI it is called TUI or text user interface then we will do some post processing with the text user interface and at the end we will run a complete uh, simulation with the text user by using text user interface. So of course I will not cover all these topic in single video but uh, it will be a series of video maybe 4, 5 or 6 video I don't know but let's start with the introduction of text user interface. Okay before that general file. Actually journal file is simply a text file which contain all those commands which you can read directly into Fluent. So here uh, and it has the extension of .gou. So for example I had copy paste uh, that commands over here but you can read from here go to the read and read journal file and uh, can see here is a journal file .gou extension. So you can read directly from here or so you can see it is reading from there or you can copy paste so it is same so either you can copy paste or read through uh, directly a text file so those commands are written in a text file and that text file is called journal file so 
what is text user interface so in uh, fluent you have these two windows one is this graphical window other one is console actually this console is a way to interact with the fluent through commands so everything what you do through this graphical user graphical user interface you can achieve all these functionality using this uh, console or text user interface whenever you come into the console you just see this sign so let's call it a greater than sign or whatever you can call it so how you start so when you don't see anything just hit enter so whenever you hit enter you will see all these options it works like uh, window uh, window explorer which contain folder and each folder contain different folder and it goes on so i have hit enter and you can see i can write all these commands when you see a, uh, this forward slash after uh, a command so it means it is like a directory it means it contain further file so let's go inside one of them let's go into the uh, define yeah here yeah. so i will write define so now you are in the define folder now you don't know what is inside the define just hit enter so it will show all those options inside the define now here for example here these two things so if you write boundary condition it means you will enter into another folder or it if you hit f or if you write for example units so it means it is the action command or it is the last command so it will do some action so whenever there is a forward slash it means it contains further option or further subdirectories or if there is no forward slash it means that is the last uh, uh, action command or it will do some action so let's write units so now for example it is defining units for velocity so whatever millimeter per second ah it doesn't recognize millimeter per second okay centimeter per second yes no ah sorry it didn't recognize because we are not in the velocity but uh, we are back in the defined so but anyway we will come back later just to see how it works so now you are in the define folder so if you want to go one level up just write q so q from quit and hit enter so you will go up and again you will hit enter and you will see all these options so that's how you navigate into the different options and it has the sub directories for so a few of them you can recognize solver so it contain all those options related to solver then report it is related to report definition mesh file plot and we will see a lot of them one by one as we will progress second thing here do, you don't make spelling mistake it means it is smart enough to recognize what you are writing for example it is mesh so if i write mes and hit enter it will recognize as mesh so you don't need to write the entire word if you write initial three words so it will recognize if uh, it ha it if it will have two or more command which will have uh, same three letters so i think uh, there are some rule you can check into the help but i think uh, there are some basic rule that you can check but uh, it can recognize the short word or short form of many commands so if i hit q so i will go up similarly let's uh, go into the i don't know define if i go into the define so you can see and then hit enter we were here before so you can see here we can define boundary condition custom field function dynamic mesh injection material mesh interface so we can do a lot of things over here today we will see how we can save file through this uh, uh, text user interface and how we can read the files so for example i have this simulation and i want to run this uh, case and data file for that uh, what mm, I, for that i need to go into the file because uh, uh, i know that but uh, you can recognize with the name okay also exit if you write exit so it will exit through from fluent okay i said i want to save this my case and data file so for that i will write file and i am in the file folder i don't know what option do i need to use so for that what i will do simply i will hit enter 
now here you can see a lot of uh, options so here you have read options here you have set option and here you can see write option uh, i can write only case file so it will not it will not contain data or the results or i can save case and data file so i want to save case and data file so i will say write minus case minus data space okay i'm writing this case and data file and uh, then i have to hit space that i have to provide the name let's uh, call it uh, introduction dot case you can see it has written that file introduction dot case and uh, here you can see where did it save so it has saved into the uh, your main folder or main directory where you are running your simulation introduction dot case dot data dot h5 so that's the extension similarly you can go outside file and here you can read same case file let's uh, okay let me open a new fluent and we will read this exactly same file so let me open a new uh, standalone fluent here you can see there is no case or data file and we want to read that file that i had written before with the name of introduction to read uh, we already know we have to go into the file so i will write here file and now i'm in the file folder and here i need to use read case and data i can use i can use this one case and data if i want to read result as well or if i want to read only case file without results so i will use this read case so i will say read minus case and what was the name of case file introduction dot case ah, i have made a mistake uh, there is an extra e with arrow key up and down arrow key you can uh, go you can just uh, go to your previous command so it works like any other programming language i have written read case introduction dot case file and you can see it has uh, read that case file and uh, let me display if i go to the cell zone and i display over here and you can see the case file is over here uh, that's how you can read uh, case and uh, data file and uh, so i think that's the brief introduction of text user interface you can do a lot of things with this uh, text user interface that you will see in uh, coming videos so that's it for today but in the next video we will see how we can change boundary condition which i had showed you at the start of this video so we will write a complete file from scratch and we will see how we can construct that file and how we can change that boundary condition in the same example thank you for watching and see you in the next video if you like the content please consider subscribing thank you and see you in the next video